Hey, what's all going on guys? It's Nando back with one more video and I'm super excited to talk about the Essential phone. So the Essential PH1. So I've done a video already on this phone, just a quick unboxing, early impressions. And this is going to be a little more detailed video in regards to uh, things to consider. So if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you aren't new to my channel, then you know that I like to do these kind of series. I like to do unboxings. Then I like to follow that up with things that stand out to me, things that I think you all should consider if you're considering buying this device, and then ultimately likes and dislikes from a final review. Now for this video of uh, things to consider, I'm gonna keep it kind of short and sweet. Um, there's not a lot of things that stand out to me in regards to the phone itself, but some do need to be mentioned. So right off the bat, do note this. This is an incredible, incredible built phone. So what I mean by that is that no branding, super solid construction, ceramic build phone. And you really don't see that in the market right now. You really don't see a company care about the way a phone feels in hand, about how a phone is built, and about how a phone is going to withstand abuse on the daily commute. And with the essential phone, with the ceramic back, with the titanium, you know, steel, whatever this is on the sides, and this incredibly gorgeous display, um, you've got something that you actually really, really love to hold. And if you're anything like me, when I get a device, especially a phone, I really, really like the hardware of the phone. Okay, when I get a phone, I want something that I'm going to be attracted to. I don't want to just get a phone because of its software. If you're into that, there's plenty of devices out there for you. But if I'm going to be spending the amount of money that I'm spending, I want to know that it looks and is built well. And this phone takes care of that for me. So if you're thinking about getting this essential PH1 phone, definitely know that this phone is going to leave you excited because it feels so good in the hand. It looks so good. This is a ceramic white. Also comes with that black and I think that special edition kind of greenish gold that I have not seen in person. Now, with that being said, another thing that you definitely need to note is that this screen is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. If you look right here, the only amount of bezel is this tiny little strip at the bottom. Now, the phone that I have right here, battery-wise, uh, it's dead, so I can't show you that, so I apologize for that, guys, but I definitely wanted to get this video out to you. But I'm sure you've seen tons of videos on this phone, and the fact that this uh, screen goes all the way to the top to the cutout uh, provides a different kind of uh, immersive feel. And uh, it's one of those situations that until you actually use it, until you actually play with it, um, you're not going to quite understand what I'm saying. And um, that definitely needs to be um, focused on as probably the biggest seller of this phone. Now, camera-wise on this phone, camera-wise is okay. Okay, can take really good pictures if you're in the great, great lighting uh, setup. If you've got plenty of natural light, if you've got a light that's going to shine up that subject, then this phone can take really good pictures. With that being said, if any of that isn't present, if you don't have the most optimal lighting conditions, then this phone is going to struggle, in my opinion, quite a bit. It does not hold the candle to the you know, Samsungs, the S8s, or the Note 8s, the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, uh, the iPhone X, the Google Pixel 2, and the XL, the V30s. Um, you know, those phones dominate this phone here in regards to the camera, both picture and video. That's my opinion. Let me know in the comment section below if you disagree, if you have this phone, um, or what you think is the best phone route right now for photos and videos. Um, with that also being said, I think that the fact that this phone does not have a stock Google camera is a huge, huge mistake. Um, I really, really dislike the camera app for this phone. The fact that Essential pretty much went all in with stock Android, and then they don't go with a stock Android Google um, app is a complete, uh, just a complete ignorant choice in my opinion. Now you can sideload that. Um, there's there are ways around it, but I don't think you should be doing that in order to get a decent camera experience. Um, and and that's even just from the interface. I'm talking less lag when taking a picture swiping between camera and video um, that's all 
up to the actual app itself and I don't like what Essential is doing with that. Now, I thought that I was going to dislike these two prongs back here where you can hook up in this moment only Essential's 4K um, 360 camera, but they're so tiny uh, to me they really don't stand out. Um, so do keep that in mind if you were kind of uh, thrown away by that. And then I do just like the fact that, you know, the le camera lens is flush. So the phone itself, again, super clean, super, super minimalistic. And that is something that I can't emphasize enough. So, guys, that's it for things to consider. Definitely focus on the fact that this phone's camera is all right, that this phone has an awesome build quality. Um, and if you can also accept the fact that now this phone is priced at $499 in, on Best Buy and Amazon, I think that this phone becomes a uh, solid buy. It used to go for $699, but now at $499, it becomes a solid buy. So that's it, guys. Catch you in the next video. I'm going to be doing my final review on this phone. Um, hit a like button, please, on your way out. And if you haven't subscribed, do consider doing so because I've got tons of videos coming through the pipeline. Like always... I enjoyed this video with you guys. It's Nando. Peace, salute, and stay good.